Techno recently sent us the new Spark 7P and 7 Pro. So let's take a look to compare them. In terms of hardware, both phones come with a versatile configuration of 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, which should be enough for most daily apps. Unfortunately, because the 7 Pro only has 4GB of RAM, this could result in lower performance when multitasking. Both phones' displays support 90Hz refresh rates, creating a smooth experience during daily use. The 7P and 7 Pro share a similar design language, and the most noticeable difference will be the front-facing camera. I personally prefer the 7P's design since it looks more uniform, but you can decide which design you enjoy more. Both phones have a massive 5000 mAh battery inside, along with Helio G70 in the 7P and Helio 80 in the 7 Pro, making sure you'll have enough power and performance to last throughout your whole day. Aside from a 3.5mm headphone jack and a micro USB port, both phones have a fingerprint sensor on the back, so you can quickly unlock your phone with ease. Some people may be concerned that the front-facing camera may ruin the viewing or gaming experience. Fortunately, most videos and games have already adapted to these types of screens. We tested Arena of Valor, and both phones can maintain a speed of 60 frames per second. Both the 7P and the 7 Pro have a triple lens camera system, with AI algorithms built in. While the 7P has a 16 megapixel main camera, the 7 Pro has a 48 megapixel main camera. Let's take a look at the photo samples of these two phones. During the daytime, we can see there is a slight difference in terms of white balance. The photo taken by 7P looks more accurate and natural, while the 7 Pro's 48 megapixel shot looks a little unnatural and over sharpened. I guess hardware does not tell the whole story, and I hope a firmware update will solve this issue. In the second photo, the 7 Pro's camera still has an edge over the 7P in terms of sharpness. Both phones support night mode by increasing the exposure time to get better night photos. While the 7 Pro has a better dynamic range, Techno still needs to work on its color accuracy. Both phones have high OS built-in, which supports the Do Not Disturb mode while gaming and an intelligent back button. Also, the OS looks clean and similar to native Android, while having some humanistic touch to it, surpassing other competitors at this price point. Overall, the 7P and the 7 Pro are pretty competitive in the mid-tier market. Both phones do not compromise on key components and are worth consideration. I hope the 7 Pro could come with a larger capacity of RAM and a higher resolution display. And I wish to see more from Techno in the future. <laughs>